Okay, so coming to question two now. Um, find the pressure in atmospheres at the base of a uh, dam if the water in the reservoir is 170 meters deep. So find the pressure in atmospheres at the base of a dam if the water is 170 meters deep. Okay, so this comes from, uh, we could pretty much use the formula for pre pressure at any depth H and the pressure at any depth HP is given by the surface pressure plus density times G times height. So this is what we're looking for. We need surface pressure uh, to find the pressure we're looking for. We want to put the surface pressure value. We want to put the density of whatever fluid we're talking about, a liquid we're talking about. G times H. G is a constant. H is the height at which we're trying to find the respective pressure. Now, the surface pressure is well, it depends on how your professors want to approximate this value. Some people like to have it written out as 101325 pascals. Some people just like to write it as 1.01 times 10 raised to 5 pascals or otherwise pascal is Newton per meter square because pressure is force per area. So, I'm going to, I'm going to use the second value because uh, as a matter of convenience and because the answer choices would still be valid using this value. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use 1.01 times 10 raised to 5. So that's the surface pressure plus density and density of water is given as 1000 or 1 times 10 raised to 3 kgs per meter per meter squared, right? A meter cube, sorry, because that's mass per volume. So that's that's the density of water times 9.8, which is G, times your height. And your height in this question is 170 meters deep. So times 170. And when I do this math, I'll get, uh, I'll get the answer as 1.76 8 something something times 10 raised to 6 Newton or uh, Pascals which is Newton per meter squared now we don't want it in Newton per meter squared because the answer choices are given to us in atmospheres so 1 Pascal so what's the conversion 1 Pascal is 10 raised to minus 5 Newton per meter squared or 1 atmosphere oh, sorry or one atmosphere, one atmosphere is 10 to the 5 pascals, whichever way you want to look at it. So now if I want to convert this to atmospheres, if one atmosphere is 10 to the 5 pascals, and I want to find out how many atmospheres is 1.76 times 10 to the 6 pascals, and I cross multiply, I call this x, so x equals 1 point x times 10 to the 5 equals 1 times this, so 1 times that is just that, x times that, so what is x? I divide both sides by 10 to the 5, 10 to the 5, I get 17.6 or 17.7 .7 atmospheres. That is the pressure that you'd experience at 170 meter, at the 170 meter depth they were talking about. Okay, so I've been out of the screen for a while. Here you go. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So what are the key ideas? Uh, the key idea here in this question is the equation pressure at any height h and the formula is pressure equals surface pressure plus density times g times h we know surface pressure is this value right here in pascals density of water is a thousand kgs per meter cubed g is 9.8 and height in the question was given as 170 meters the question was to find the pressure at the base of a dam in which the water was 170 meters deep so then you find this, the an this would be the answer if they wanted the answer in Pascals, but uh, in this particular question, they wanted the answer in atmospheres. So we looked at the conversion 
We were like one atmosphere is 10 to the 5 pascals. Did the conversion, we got 17.6 atmospheres. Hopefully that.